matchup. The newcomer, the Nittany Lions of Penn State against the Iowa Hawkeyes. The strike action for Penn State. Good afternoon and welcome everybody with Dick Vermeil. I'm Brett Musburger. For 106 years, Penn State was one of the most glamorous independents in the country. But Dick, today, here they are, coming their first road game in the Big Ten. Well, they've been here before and played well enough to win, but not in a conference atmosphere. Iowa plays very hard in these Big Ten games. No, no pro football, Brent. They take their football seriously. It rubs off on the way these kids play. I've never seen them play poorly in this stadium. Overcast day, but the rain may hold off. A lot going on. Let's send you to John Saunders. He was not the coach for all 106 years of their independent status. Back deep guy and Shaw. And Conway rips it to the end. Gets Slutsker the tight end off the line. And a run, the tailback out of that formation, Ryan Terry. Now here are the backs and receivers whom we just mentioned. Terry and King. Dean Jasper, the dangerous wide receiver. There's the offensive line. Wigman is the center built around him, matched against this defensive unit. Lou Benfatti, number 55. Let's remember that number today for Penn State. Shelly Hammonds, number 21, did a fine job on that corner last week against Southern Cal in the clutch. Now coming up with second and nine after the one-yard gain, and Burmeister going to throw his first pass of the game with a defender in his face. Throws incomplete. Burmeister straight back. The backs have to help the block. Pressure there, and the running back couldn't hold. Basic pro set, and Carter is the tailback. Chris Webb is there defensively for the Hawks. Now the backs and the receivers here for Joe Paterno will line up this way behind Saka. Carter gets the start. There are three fine tailbacks. Justin Williams playing today. Bobby Ingram, very dangerous offensive line. Harding's number 50 has been grading out very high this season against this defensive unit. Chris Webb already in on a stop. There are the defensive backs. Third and eight. Backs out. Incomplete. Stand giving Penn State a short field. King and Shaw checking in. And Great defense. starter, not played well in the second half, as you saw by that graphic. Good protection. First down, Hawkeyes. Cedric Shaw cannot beat the defender six yards. Second and 16. Burmeister stays in the pocket and fires complete down. Burmeister firing complete on the sideline. Wonderful catch. Here's Shaw. Could not get the corner turned against this Still Nittany. a little of the old Hayden Fry offense. Here he is with a shotgun. Burmeister in trouble. Gets it off. Uh, yeah. Sort of foul up that audible package. Saka. Incomplete. England. Both backs out as the offensive line gives Saka time. And the arm was fouled. Low snap. Willie Guy waits. That's it hit near midfield. Takes it on one hop. That was yeah, still. Me. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> I'm not as tough as either one of them. Burmeister deep down the middle. Goes for the home run. Intercepted Hammonds. Hammonds picks it off. Little 15. 20. Well, they went to the well. They actually had the safety up there, but Ruben was in good position. And you'll have to remember when Ruben, he goes up for the highest point, gets the ball. When he intercepts, he has been a running back at Penn State. So he now turns on his offensive skills, averaged over five yards a carry as a running back. Kajana Carter, number 32, the tailback. Saka to throw out of that formation on first down to his tight end, Kyle Brady. Going too deep zone. See, that's just the pattern you want against that. See, no safeties there. Throws the linebackers. Excellent throw. Good rhythm. Out of the eye formation, Carter. Big hole explodes inside the 25-yard line where Porter makes a touchdown. Out here, deep handoff in the eye, and you see a real nice block there that time by Jeff Harding's number 50. It opened that hole up. Now Stephen Pitts checks in. Carter again picks his way to daylight. Carter to the 10-yard line. A 
again sack out. And a roll to the right. Going to keep it to the three and down. Instead, they've stayed alive and almost upset the Nittany Lions. 20-yarder. Good. That is a big one for Craig Fayak's confidence. Good kickoff. Young man with a strong leg. Watch down at that defensive line now. Burmeister. Complete. They run a delay with Shaw. Shaw gets outside the defensive line. Cedric Shaw to the corner. Cedric. Right for Paterno. In the round. They're going to bring it. Anthony Dean. Inside the It's a big one. 36 yards out. And he has finally missed. Romano misses a 36 yard. Stayed in command of this team this year. Kerry Collins, known as a big playmaker. Coming in, Dick. Brent, you and I saw him rally the team the second half against West Virginia last year. Remember? He did an outstanding job. He, he throws the ball long real well. Has a very strong arm. Looks like a pro prototype guy. I don't think he's as mobile. Anywhere close to as mobile as John Saka. Has a big opportunity, though. Saka, one of six, 22 yards. That to the tight end. So Collins in for his first series. And he'll hand it off to Carter, who's been running well. Collins. Collins away from the defender. Throws high. And very talented, he's sure, in Tennessee. And he's doing a number. And here, it was Iowa's defense doing a number. This is Willie Guy returning one for the Hawks. And midfield. Short field. Moving in for the Nittany line, 46-yard line. Cedric Shaw could not elude it. And he'll do it here again. Steps up in the pocket. Throws oh, it away. Here. He threw it out of bounds. From the shotgun, Burmeister. Again, defensive pressure. The Iowa offensive line starting to break down now, and Atkins is starting to run. And a running back. This is Terry. Terry bolts to a hole. Play fake out of it. Going down. Fumble! Iowa pounces on it finally. Boy, that ball got batted around there. That's Ken Belton, my producer, keeping me up to date on what's going on in the contemporary world. There is the... If he can feel that, that's the time you want to return. You don't normally want to take that ball back there, Brent, but it got there too quick. Pull back. He's got a safety blitz. Carter gets outside against that blitz for a big game. Here, he'll come to the... See, there he is, number four, Pat Boone coming in there, but he handed the ball off. Good deception. Collins, Collins with time, deflected in. Coming to life a little bit in Cincinnati. Here it is Cedric Shaw getting the handoff. And the first one. On a little delay action fake. Burn and loose. Penn State recovers in the air. Eric Clare, fumble now or is it down? Down. Ball. Clare just came, kept coming. See, there's the fake. He's got the ball on his hip. Now he gets it up there. He still has it in one hand. Now there comes the guy. Ravati comes around number 94 and strips him, a la Lawrence Taylor. It's going to use more of its fullback today, as they told you. He'll lead the way for Carter. Carter gets to that corner again, and he's belted. Up right here like that, and then the lead block by the fullback. See? They've got to get a man in contained position here. He gets out there. Good clean it right there. See, that gave speed. Now that gave him a chance to run to the flag. Carter picks his way, stumbles toward the end zone, and is down at the one yard. Steven Pitts checks in. O'Neal cut back, touchdown, Penn State. Brian O'Neal, lady Nim Carter. He just pounds it in there. Now watch this. He gets up right now and says hello to the Penn State fans. They're all sitting right down there. You. Going to hand it ball deep here, a little reverse pivot, give it to him. Good lead block that time. See, he gets his body up in the air. Defenders couldn't stop him. Nice job. He says, hello, Penn State. Terry against Otherwise, they'll make him punt. 
Bomeister in trouble and going down again. Monahan. Out of the right side, you'll see him come play action. Takes a little longer. Here he is right there. He gets around the outside of number six. And the Nittany Lions have their touchdown and a 10-0 lead. He'll throw. He has a good deep arm. This is a first down. England's in this deep game. Off a nice fake, they'll run Carter, who's had a 100-yard half with checks in. And now it is Collins with time incomplete. Willie Guy is back deep. How's he punt? Oh, uh, hit his teammate right on that head. Hit him right in the head gear. No one punts one like that. Shelly Hammond said, wait a minute. That punt's supposed to be 25 yards further downfield. That's the first. Maybe ricocheting off my helmet. Where'd that come from? The ball's dead up where it was touched in the helmet. <laughs> said, I didn't do anything wrong, coach. It just hit me in the head. Watch this, coming down the right side of your screen here. Here he is, number 20. Boo! <laughs> hey! Whoa. I'll use it. There they go. Doink! 21 <laughs> yard punt. 48 seconds for Burmeister. Okay, you can't afford to relax at any time against the Hayden Fry coached football team. I have seen him do some very strange things right before the half, both against, successfully and negatively. Against this rush, they may want to think about running the clock out. Every time they line Burmeister up in an obvious pass, here it comes. Now they get some play action, fake that time. And then it, no, they're excellent. That down four, they're so quick. And this time they get a completion. Burmeister hey, going down. He's down. The ball is marked down as Terry Killen wraps him up. The He's fourth sack by this defensive performance. Helping to the left. See him get over here. All the backs are over here. But all of a sudden, here he, see, he just keeps coming. Just keeps coming. That's effort, not talent. 2-0 oh before Michigan and Ohio State even play a conference game. Iowa has upset on its mind here in the second half. Kelly Hammonds will come out from the 10. Hammonds with an alley. 45 midfield. Down to the 36-yard line, caught by Scott Blake. You'll see he's back there, Shelly Hammonds. He takes it on the hash just outside. Now watch that wedge for him. Boom, there's a big hole right there. Now he's going back to being the running back. He's been there at Penn State rather than the cornerback he's playing 66 today. 66 for Iowa, 170. But Iowa has thrown the ball well. Penn State has not. Penn State has run the ball well. The difference was that turnover we just showed, really, for the short drive for the touchdown. Plus, Penn State has sacked him four times. Penn State has not been sacked. Number two, Mike Archie into the Penn State backfield. And Collins to throw it. Going to go deep down the right sideline. Incomplete. Diving attempt there in the end zone by Freddie Scott. And Collins under siege this time and forced to take off. Here come the Hawks. A bangy yard kickoff return. The Lions need four to keep it going. Collins gets time this time. All day. Down the middle. He fires for it. Boy, and with a, a grip. You see the corners rolled up on him. Now that's night number eight. Now he's playing a man-to-man -man underneath because he has a safety backing him up. You'll see the safety appear right there. Good throw. And they go to a sub, Stephen Pitts for the touchdown. Excellent, excellent, excellent. The left side of your screen, you'll see what I'm, look at him blocking down there to the left side right there. And he absolutely annihilates Chris Webb, opens up that big hole. Nice, my gosh. Now let's take another look at it as they come around the corner and watch the power of Pitts as he barges back and slashes into the end zone for the Terry is his tailback. Gets the first call for Iowa in the second half. Getting to the corner from the shotgun, Burmeister. Burmeister with Ben Fatty hanging on, incomplete. Let's see if it can hold up against this four-man rush. He throws quicker that time, but short of the first down. And around. Here comes Ingram. Ingram turns up field for it. Penalty flag is down. Ingram is out of bounds. Underneath actually chased the play away. Ended up pushing him in the back. That's what they Old call it. Summer in it tied in, number 87. Collins throwing for it underneath to Carter. Here they're coming after it. Wouldn't get there. 
Nice punt. Willie Guy driven back to the 28-yard line. Slips a tackler but cannot get his way turned up the Off a play fake, Burmeister slips away, gets pounded and throws complete. Oh, he's able to play here in this game, but here he is holding up. Again. And they rule it's free. That was a freebie, folks. Shaw the freshman. But uh, I think they'll get back in it. It's never over with Hayden Fry as a coach, so we'll see what happens. Right, thanks for stopping by, Chuck. Thank you. Thanks, Julie. Oh, Burmeister trying to come up with a play, but Derek Bonas. <laughs> Offensive line holds up. Burmeister fires, and Gelsheiser makes a diving grab. Brian Gelsheiser intercepts for Penn State. He tried to force the ball down the seams. He was good. He had time to throw this one properly, but he didn't see the linebacker that was freed up underneath. His man didn't go out. Better so cameraman here today. Back Hopkins on the roll. Throwing. Complete. And that was. What's your major there? Line. <laughs> Second. <laughs> 206. Here is Carter. Cuts through a hole. Carter explodes. Touchdown, Penn State. Back. Yes, good blocking on the line of scrimmage, but the reason it scored was Brian Millen, number 22, the lead fullback. Follow him as he leads his football play and gets the key block downfield. You'll see the cross block on the top. Good blocking right there. Now watch this block right there. Boom! Turns him out, gives him that running lane. Speed to burst, touchdown. Back again. Two on miss. 31-20, that score now. Four yard line, watching the reserves clean up. That time it was Benny Stewart. He comes away from the center right now. He's right at the team, reached back and grabbed the ball. He got it on the second bounce. That really fouls you up. And there's the pass rush right there. That's Benny Stewart, number 78. He's been a factor every time he's been in there. Separating today. total offense here. And here again, Penn State just, you know, 30 yards or so ahead. But the turnover factor right here, look at this or you're going to get beat when you're minus one most of the time, let alone be minus three, especially against a defensive team like Penn State's. And to go along with those three turnovers, don't forget the six sacks. They up to six now. <laughs> and make it seven. Officially. Here's the handoff to Archie. Ooh, face mask. This is Pitts again on the cutback through for a defensive performance has done the job hasn't it yes you bet this is Millen I drop it off to him on <laughs> inside the 25 Nittany Lions and John Whitman carrying a couple of Hawkeyes inside the five for the Nittany Lions Ooh, what a surge oh it's down Stephen Pitts. Boy, did that offensive touchdown. line come off the ball inside, Brent. Oh, man. Right in the middle of your screen, ladies and gentlemen. Watch this. Watch him come off the ball. Boom. Look at him just knocking him back. Look at that hole in there. The Nittany Lions in control. 31 to nothing. Gore was much closer than the game. Well, you know, there's a question with 11 teams in the right, country. Osborne, and number three would be Missouri because of the great television market, and uh, their program will come back. Right now, 11 teams in the conference, and Ingram, ooh, lousy fun. You know, if I were Coach Hayden coaching at Iowa, and I had a vote, look at this return. I sure as good. Miami, Colorado, another big one. And John Saka returns at quarterback and gets belted. Five and a half minutes. <laughs> Saka scrambling and yeah. Penn State over Iowa. And this is Timmy Herring again. Well, down the middle, incomplete. I guess the sack total officially is up to nine. 
Oh, nice. Boy, can he Jerry kept, Killens Boy, he can accelerate. Back out of bounds. Come on, Bob. When it's going right, it's going right. Fumble it right back to your own man. Hey, let's go right now quickly to John Saunders, John. We are back here. So an exciting one coming to an end there. And here, Penn State winning its first road game in the Big Ten. 31 to nothing over Iowa. Joe Paterno in the Nittany Lions. 2-0 in the Big Ten for Dick Vermeil and Julie Moran. I'm Brett Musburger. So long, everybody.